Hello and welcome to my second YouTube channel. This might be the last time I'm sitting here in this background uh, because I got a new desk and I'm going to move my room around this weekend. This week I wanted to talk to you about the pros and cons of being open about TTC, trying to conceive. And I have my list done here and I have it done out in a pro and then a con, a related con. So we'll just get straight into it. First and foremost, a big pro is the community. The sense of community is really positive and it's also really helpful and makes you feel like you're not alone. However, the con of that is when you're open online about being TTC, sometimes the positive support or the comments or whatever else can veer into inappropriateness this kind of comes into my next point as well. So my next pro is good advice with the con of bad advice. And so there's kind of two sides to both of those coins because yeah, people will share their stories and make me feel really accepted into this community and make me feel really hopeful about where we're at and where we're going. But then there'll also be people who will try and tell me how to have sex with my husband or will try and a proportion blame to one of us, will cast judgment on our lifestyles, tell me that I'm, you know, too fit or doing too much sport or not eating enough or doing too much of this, none of that. When people are like, just relax. That's terrible advice, don't ever give me that advice. <laughs> Then the good advice and the bad advice. So there's a lot of good advice given. But again, sometimes there's a line because it is a very personal journey. People trying to start a family has always been seen as quite a personal journey. I know that in Ireland it's not really something people talk about very much. So it's a real grey area on when people can overstep the mark. There are also times where you're given good advice but you might not be ready to hear it yet. There's an openness obviously when you're being open about something but it just feels less of like a secret that you kind of have to carry around by yourself and it does help you to feel a little bit less alone when you can openly talk about it but I guess in real life the con there that I didn't anticipate is that in real life this conversation still tends to make people super uncomfortable <laughs> and I don't want to be making people feel uncomfortable so actually I don't talk about this in real life half as much as maybe I thought that I would. Uh, and last but not least, a pro is that when more people are open about trying to conceive online, you can learn from others' mistakes. Like for me, my big mistake was that I trusted the Flow app for about seven months of my life. And it turns out that because I was having irregular cycles, the Flow app just couldn't figure out when I was ovulating. And the Flow app was actually totally confused by the symptoms I was entering because I wasn't always ovulating, which I did not know because the app cannot tell you that. So that is my big mistake is that I wasted six to seven months of my life trying to track my fertility and having sex on the wrong days with an app that didn't work because I had a regular cycles. I would recommend every woman who doesn't have a clockwork regular cycle to stay the fuck away from that app personally. Maybe somebody who's watching this who has an irregular cycle and is looking to start a family will learn something from that and save themselves six or seven months of wasted time. Um, but a con on that aspect of it as well is horror stories. There's lots of horror stories that I don't need to hear. So like yeah I learned from your mistakes no problem but don't tell me your horror stories. Thank you. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> like trying to have a baby not push myself off having so there's just a quick list of the pros and cons I've come across while t openly talking about trying to conceive on the internet. It has its positives and the positives are very positive but then the negatives, the drawbacks are as you would expect mostly you know just the inappropriate nature of some of the comments and people feeling like they are much more involved in your life maybe than they actually are. At the end of the day, there's only two people involved. <laughs> That's me and my husband. So thank you so much for watching. I hope this helped or was at least interesting. And you can click here to watch a video about the practical things I've learned since I've begun my TTC journey.